Look at the size of this thing. Yeah, I'm touching the blade. You polished a turd! This may be our crappiest video we've ever done. Lincoln, it's time. Are we doing the poop? It's poop time. Yes! That's right, we have actual poop. Dinosaur poop. This is fossilized dinosaur poop. And this is helpful for certain scientists when they want to see what the diet is of certain types of dinosaurs. When I got it off of eBay, the title was Massive Poop! Craprolite! <laughs> or if you didn't know, it's called Caprolite, not Craprolite. Dinosaur fossil feces, poo, dung, 858 grams, giant, all caps, 10 inch, 10 inch poop. A am I being played right now? Is this actually somebody in Washington's poop? It's possible. Look how big that poop is though. It is, it's really long, like, and it makes my hands turn a little bit orange. I am not an expert on poop. Well, I'm not an expert on dinosaur poop. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to our friend Rick from Rock Pick Legend. He's the one that did the meteorite with us. He did the diamond ore with us. And we're going to have him look at our poop. Let us know if he likes our poop. What can we learn from dinosaur poop? What's inside of it? Honestly, I got this one because it looked most like human poop. This may be our crappiest video we've ever done though. I'm curious, would this flush down a human toilet? Hmm. Hello? Nobody's in here. <laughs> okay, so we're in the bathroom. Okay, look at the size of this thing. Inside of a human toilet. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Do you think this is the size of normal human poo? Have you ever seen a human poo this big before? <laughs> what has this video come to? Let's go take this to Rick and get his opinion about the poop and I'm gonna label him as the poop expert today. Caprolite is the official term. And shout out to Stacy from Stacy Plays. She's the first one that originally told us about caprolite and that it's dinosaur poop. This is our dinosaur poop. We bought it off the internet. It says that it was dinosaur poop, so that's all we know. <laughs> Here's our poop. Oh. Have you seen a poop like that before? Yes. These are very indicative of the ones from Morocco. Moroccan poop. Yeah. Hey, dinosaurs seem like they're really big. Why would this be so small? This could be from a juvenile. It could be from something other than a dinosaur. It could be from a very large lizard. How old do you think something like this is? I mean, it feels like it's rock. It's really oh, yeah. fossilized. It's clearly, it's clearly been fossilized. They're probably in the neighborhood of 35 to 65 million years old. Whoa. Yeah. Some of the ones we find in Utah, uh, I've seen them as big as Volkswagens, you know, a, a beetle, and uh, you know they're they're much older. They're 65 to 120 million years old. Dinosaur poop the size of a Volkswagen. Yeah. Can you do anything with this? Like, if we cut it and took it apart, mm -hmm. you think there's anything that we would see in there? It's not uncommon to find ones from southwest United States that have nuts and berries, teeth, bone, wood. They call it caprolite. 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 Yeah. Lincoln calls it caprolite. This is a piece of one. Whoa, that was cut. Yep, this one's already been cut. Shows you the inside. It's a different type of your, than yours. This one's from here in Utah. This is another another one from here in Utah. Wow, that's actually their it's poop. so colorful. Is it because like it's fossilized and it makes those colors or is it just? So the minerals that fossilize it, that replace the organic material, that's what gives it its color. Okay. It, it, it's not red because it ain't something red or blood or anything like that. And that stuff's all long gone. This one's from down by Hanksville, Utah. That's a big one. Whoa. Yeah. And on the back here, there's a little hole there. It's a cry. The crinoid, like a plant fossil. So that is a plant fossil. It's in there, or you pulled it, it out? No, it, it's it's dissolved away. It left cavity. Here's another one. You can see the little structures there. So and those are plant-like fossils. That's something right. that it ate and digested, mm -hmm. and it came out. Exactly. We've learned a lot about dinosaur poop. We even learned that this one had little markings on it from when it plopped was the technical term. <laughs> you think that you could probably just break that rock open by yourself? Oh yeah, like if I had like a surface like this, I could just snap it. What do you think the best method is? Do you think that we should just break the thing or should well, we go and it, cut it? You have a rough surface, you don't know what's gonna, you still don't know what you're seeing. I mean, it's all rough and jagged. 
uh, if, once you cut it, you have a very smooth surface and sometimes you even have to pre-polish it or even polish all the way down in order to see what the structure looks like on the inside. We're gonna do that. We're gonna cut it and we, then we're gonna polish the turd. That's what, that's what we're doing. This is what YouTube is made for. Exactly. So Zeke today is gonna be our cutting expert. Look at these saws. Look how massive these are. And this is, is this oil or water? It's vegetable oil. And then this is the blade that's like not even sharp if, to, if you nope. touch it. Yeah, he's the blade. touching the blade that's cut for off, right there. And his finger is still on, his finger is still intact. The question is like, which way do we cut it? We're thinking if we could somehow get it a long way, maybe all the way down, and then we can just open it up and see the whole, along the whole length of it. He's clamping it tight, yeah. and it's not breaking. It snaps. If that dinosaur poop can survive for 35 million years. How long can our poop last? <laughs> Well, technically. <laughs> <laughs> Up at the University of Utah, they study human feces that have been fossilized out in the desert. The paleontology department studies them. What? Lincoln's been wondering for the longest time. Like, seems like every week he's like, Dad, what should I be when I grow up? I think we just found it. <laughs> Pathologist. <laughs> Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. I understand from professors that when they reconstitute ones that are 10,000 years old, they still stink. This is the last we will see of a fully intact dinosaur poop. It's been about 25 minutes and um, we're gonna check on it right now. We just turned the saw off. We haven't opened it yet, but they said from their expert ears that they think it may have broken. So, let's check it out. Oh, it came off. What? Oh, it looks so clean and nice now though. I don't know, it just popped out. It's just hard for it to clamp it, right? Yeah. Just because of the weird shape that it is. So rather than go the lengthwise, we're gonna just cut the top off of it. Then I think we're gonna carve it to look like a poop emoji. Can so you if, do that? If somebody in the comments knows how to carve rocks really well, um, let us know and maybe we can send you this top portion and you can carve a poop emoji in it. Yeah. Poop emoji okay. with real poop. That's how much we are going to cut off. Oh! Ooh. What are we looking at? I see stuff it's, in there. There's there's food. There's different colors for sure. None of the structural pattern of the copolai, the, the original feces is there. It's just desiccated and that's what it's filled in with the minerals. I think that's a beetle right there. This is really cool looking and it does look kind of like, I don't know, to me, I'm no rock expert, but it reminds me of when we cut open the meteor right here and we just pulled it out and it's all shiny. It's kind of a different texture. Have you ever polished a turd before? Yes. yes. <laughs> We're going for it. So let's do it. Let's polish this thing off real quick. And then I really do think, how can we turn this into this? Gotta help us guys. And now we have this polishing machine right here. Okay, we are done. Look how red or brown the water is. Turns out there's a lot of iron in dinosaur poop. It's looking pretty. Oh, your poor outfit. Like, <laughs> look at that. This is it. Look how pretty that is. I like how you rounded it. The polished coprolite looks. Oh, that's good stuff right there. Oh, it's so smooth, just like the meteorite. Check this out. Oh, we got the magnifying glass here. There's no... No organic structure inside. Organic structure meaning no plants, nuts, bushes. Plants, yeah. Is uh, there a small chance this is from a human? No. No chance at all? No. I would imagine like if this was from a human, once it fossilizes, it's a lot smaller than it originally yeah. is, right? <laughs> right? A big thanks to Rock Pick Legend and Thank to you. Rick for hooking us up again and for sharing his knowledge. Check out his Facebook page. We're going to leave a link in the description. He has all kinds of rocks and minerals Such, and gold. So many cool rocks. Different like, things for sale on there. Let us know what other things you'd like to see us do that's like rocks or minerals. That's what's inside of dinosaur poop. Okay. This was a go. fun experiment. The crap light will now end this video. It's not crap or light. Goodbye, it's crap or light. Dilly, dilly, dilly. You polished a turd.